two, one, and zero. All right, good job. My name is Mr. Sanders. I am from Relay Education, and we're going to have fun with wind turbines today. And um, yeah, let's go ahead and get to it. But as always, there's directions that you have, uh, have to follow before we really get started. Number one, handle the equipment carefully. So you have your wind turbine. Uh, the, the blue ones are a bit different, but very similar. Uh, what you don't want to do, you don't want to turn the part that's sticking out, okay? You don't want to do that. You also don't want to hit the blades. You don't have blades in here just yet, but you will. Number two, be careful around the extension cords. Everything's set up so that it's, it's pretty safe at this point. So there's, there's three extension cords over there. Just watch your step. Number three, listen for the signal to get your attention. My signal is always the same. I just did it. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. And when I get to zero, fans off and no talking. Because you're going to have to do something when you turn those fans off. <clears throat> and number four, only the ambassador will leave your group. That means that's got, there's going to be one person in your group that's going to leave the group to come get things from me. And we have, uh, as a reminder, if you have a blue wind turbine, I will only give you materials from here. If you have a turbine like this, I will only give you materials from here. So, uh, let's start our experiments. Well, well, first let's go over the instructions. Can everyone read from where you are? Just do the best you can. I know it's a really big room because you're going to have to look at this just to see what you have to do. I'll see if I can make it a bit larger. Okay, is that a little better? Okay, so number one, you're going to use the knob to tighten or loosen the spaces in the hub. All right. There's a knob on the front of your wind turbine. Some of you will have one that looks like this. If you have a blue wind turbine, you have to turn uh, the flat screw. I'm sorry, not the flat screw, but the, the nut that's shaped like a V. All right, if, if you go to the right, it tightens. If you go to the left, it loosens. Righty, tighty, lefty, loosey. Okay, always remember that. But if you have one like this, it's just turn it to the right, turn it to the left. This stop here. Number two, insert your blades in the holes and space them uh, equally apart. So let's say I have two, two blades. I don't want to make sure that the distance between the blades are the same. If I put one here, where should I put the next one? At the bottom. <clears throat> and when you're putting your blades in, it's a group effort, okay? Everyone's doing that together. Uh, number three, use the black dots to angle the blades in the same direction. <clears throat> so you have your wind turbine, you look at your black dots, they should all face the same direction. I'm going to have the dots here. Now, if I push this dot backwards, how should I push this dot? Yeah. Yeah. Forward? Same direction. Same direction. So, what, what way should you push it? Okay? Very important. This is actually the most important step because if they're not facing the same direction, uh, your wind turbine won't move. Now, numbers four and five. Connect the light colored uh, wire of the turbine to the light colored alligator clip. Connect the dark colored wire of the turbine to the dark colored alligator clip. Okay. 
You have your wind turbine. Which is darker, the red or black? Black. black. Which is darker, the yellow or red? Red. So the red will connect to the black. The yellow will connect to the red. Make sure you're connecting it on the metal. Now I'll repeat steps four and five with the multimeter. Your multimeter is a really cool tool that's used to measure electricity. The wires are always black and red. So the black one will connect to red. The red one will connect to the yellow. Uh, turn the knob on the multimeter to 20V. Uh, most of you will have one like this. And then there's a dial. You will just turn it three clicks to the left to get to 20V. Number eight, turn the fan on the highest setting. And if you have everything connected properly, You will be able to generate electricity, and then we'll actually attach uh, some loads here, so you can see that you are actually generating electricity, and it's not just about the numbers. Okay, so what you can do, go ahead and start putting your wind turbines. Yeah.